I think there are different ways of looking at it and COVID-19 could provide some sort of wake up call to those of us who are pretending that climate change is going to be manageable. A m much more pessimistic way of looking at it is to wonder if COVID-19 followed by the George Floyd pandemic of racial violence and inequality is going to lead to a sort of crisis fatigue. Once you take COVID-19, once you take the economic depression, add in the racial crisis, and then add on climate change. The scale of transformation that's needed appears ever greater and ever deeper. At the end of the day, the real problem with George Floyd is a deeply discriminatory society where African Americans are discriminated against in every possible way at every uh, opportunity. Even the new environmental effort by the Trump administration is essentially a racist measure because the societies or the groups that are most hit by rolling back so-called environmental protections are the poor and the minorities. That's what it's all about. I think the only real way forward is to start exploring what it means to say we're all in it together because we are actually, even though temporarily, the wealthy can escape. But it's not going to lead to a strong society. It certainly isn't going to succeed in responding to climate change. And so I think some nascent sense of solidarity, not out of altruism, because that hasn't worked, but out of pure self-interest, that if we don't pull together on this, it really is going to have disastrous consequences for all of us.